Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. An official air car documentary is in the works. According to Sirius XM's Eddie Trunk, the documentary is backed by the late Kiss drummer's family and is totally legit. On Saturday, April 17th, Trunk took to his Twitter to write, going to be interviewed next week for a coming Eric Carr documentary. His family is behind it and Amp, contacted me about it so it's totally legit. Happy to be a part of it and Amp, more excited to see it. Eric was a dear friend I miss greatly. His legacy deserves this. Back in 2000, MVD Visual released an Eric Carr documentary called Inside the Tale of the Fox, The Eric Carr Story. The 120-minute documentary, directed by Jack Edward Sawyers, included extra footage, outtakes, pictures and interviews, as well as previously unreleased music written and performed by Eric from his pre-Kiss and Kiss days, plus interviews with Bill O'Coin, Bruce Kulik, Carrie Stevens, members of Slaughter, Fred Corey, and more. Carr replaced Peter Chris and Kiss in 1980 and made his recording debut with the band on 1981's music from the Elder album. His final recording with Kiss was God Gave Rock and Roll to You 2. His last public appearance before his death was at the MTV Video Music Awards in September 1991. Carr contributed his talent to the band's many gold and platinum albums during his tenure, and can be heard on the band's many hit songs from the 1980s, including Lick It Up, Heaven's on Fire, Crazy Nights, Tears Are Falling and Forever, to name a few. In addition to his musical contributions, Carr was equally known for his inviting personality and genuine love for the fans. From the time he joined the band to this very day, Carr remains one of the most beloved members of the KISS family. Carr died on November 24, 1991 of a rare heart cancer. He was 41. Back in 2011, on the 20th anniversary of Eric's passing, KISS frontman Paul Stanley stated about Carr, at a time when KISS was in the midst of upheaval and turmoil. Eric brought calm and an optimism that refocused our priorities so we could move forward. I can't overstate his contribution to our rebirth. His dedication to his music was only matched by his dedication to his fans. He was a kind soul who couldn't say an unkind word about anyone and I think of them all the time. Added Kiss bassist slash vocalist Gene Simmons, I never knew anyone more humble in my life. Eric Carr was a kind soul who never said anything bad about anybody. He was also a double threat on drums. And vocals. I miss him. Going to be interviewed next week for a coming Eric Carr documentary. His family is behind it and Amp, contacted me about it so it's totally legit. Happy to be a part of it and Amp, more excited to see it. Eric was a dear friend I miss greatly. His legacy deserves this, Eddie Trunk, at Eddie Trunk, April 18, 2021.